Bouchery wins in South Africa court against jealousy foreigners, judge orders no defamation on Facebook. South Africa-based Malawian prophet Shepard Bouchery of the Enlightened Christian Gathering ECG, scored a giant legal victory on Tuesday when the Gauteng High Court, in Pretoria, ruled in his favor that the organizers of Wednesday's False Prophets March should stop using the event to defame the name of the renowned man of God. The court underlined that the organizers should stop referring to Prophet Bouchery in defamatory terms on their posters during the Johannesburg March. Presiding Judge Elizabeth Kiyobushi also interdicted organizers of the hashtag Fake Prophets Must Fall March and Martins Antonio accused of making some of the defamatory statements from making them on Facebook regarding the Prophet. Further, the court also ruled that Antonio, together with Solomon Ashams and Charles Farre, should also stop attacking Prophet Bouchery on their Facebook profiles. The three have always been attacking Prophet Bouchery on their Facebook profiles on a series of unfounded accusations. Hence, Judge Kiyobushi ordered the three to delete, within 12 hours, all the offensive statements regarding Bouchery from social media. Bouchery, who is also the founder of the Shepherd Bouchery Ministries International, which has branches in Pretoria, turned to court to obtain an urgent interdict against the spreading of defamatory statements on social media against him. The prophet was not in court on Tuesday, but he was well represented by two senior advocates Barry Rue SC, who defended Oscar Pistorius and Mavisa Sabanda SC, as well as a string of lawyers. Angolan Martins Antonio was the only one of the three respondents who opposed the interdict and who was present at Wednesday's proceedings. Neither Ashams or Farre pitched at court, but Ru told Judge Kiyobushi that they were not opposing the application. The two have already removed the offending statements from their social media profiles, he said. Ru, however, said it was up to the court to in any event also to rule against them, although they were not opposing the application. We fully understand freedom of speech, but our constitution does not encourage unlawful conduct, Ru argued. He said the statements published regarding Bouchery were clearly defamatory. Ru said Wednesday's march against false prophets was a good march and Bouchery supported it. It is something we need. But Rue said it cannot be tolerated that Bouchery's good name is tainted in the process. The Prophet feared that posters would be displayed during the rally, which defamed him by linking him to criminal activities and by referring to him, among others, as the devil. This must stop, Rue said. He told the court that a letter of demand was sent to the three respondents. While the other two did adhere to the demands, Antonio point blank refused, he said. Antonio has a bone to pick but he does not know where to stop, Ru said. Ru said Antonio was the author of the offending pamphlet, but Antonio's advocate vehemently denied this. He blamed others, including the other two respondents, for the creation of the posters and the offending words. Advocate Kilu Nandwongo said Antonio cannot be held responsible for the material created on the poster, as he is not the author of the document. He said all Antonio did was to publish the poster on social media to try and attract publicity for the march. Antonio, in an interview with Pretoria News, said he is not organizer of Wednesday's march. He was simply invited as one of victims who suffered under the accusations of the Prophet. Antonio is from Angola, Charles Farre is from Zimbabwe while Ashams is from Nigeria.